kind of get it ready for this moment. Like I said, I've never taken the car to anything like this, but that's enough talking. Let's get to our destination and I'll catch back up with you guys. How we doing out here, right? Dude, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> Too early for this. this I still is, got the shades on there. It's too early, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're here. Let's hit it. How you Dude. feeling, bro? I'm much more awake than I was like an hour ago. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah. We've made it. Beautiful drive through upstate New York. Mystic drive, too. Super foggy. About to check in right now, I think. Let's see what's going on. Whoa, whoa! Yeah. Okay. Hey, how are you? Huh? Okay, how are you? Yeah, let me think about that. Uh, hey, hey, buddy. Man, Jordan leading the vlog. I'm out here. I'm not doing anything today. You got big smudge on the left. Oh. Do 26 and a half. We'll start there. So you changing the brakes or what? I'm gonna do the brakes. I think I might as well. I'm gonna end up probably doing them regardless. So I'm gonna probably do the brakes. I got some time to kill, so I might as well. I'm gonna have to bed them in and all that crap. So yes, we'll be doing the brakes. Right. Hey, before you head off, uh, where are you going? About to see if we qualify for even being out here. Nice. Tech inspection. Wish me luck. Up, dude. Good, Calvin. Pack it up. Gotta pack it up. We're out. You didn't make it? Didn't make it. What? Didn't We're in, baby. <laughs> what you think? Come on. <laughs> nah, we're good. No problems. We're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the brake pads real quick because at the moment I got $11 pads on the car. Not feeling too confident with those out here at the moment. So I have some Blue Hawk pads. So we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick swap. And uh, we got about half an hour before we get out there, so uh, should be enough time. Let's get to it. Look at how much meat's still on those. Yeah. Five, the six. Daily driver. These are on the 240. With the same pads? Same pads. Dude. These pads are the ones I used in the install video. Jesus $11 Christ. AC Delco pads. Watch the video. Crazy. It's probably seven years old. <laughs> and they, they did stop all right, honestly. So they do say you're supposed to sand your rotor, especially since it's not a new, like look at this. So it says here on the box, if rotors do not need resurfacing, then co uh, then contamination from previous brake pads must be removed. Sand rotors with 130 grit sandpaper using moderate pressure. Am I gonna do that? Is this doing anything? I have no damn clue, Ryan. But you know what? I'll feel better inside knowing that I did something. At least you tried. It's the effort that counts. Exactly. Who I am, what my intentions are. <laughs> oh, 
ruined. It's right in my Nismo nuts, man. No way. Did you ship a nut? Shipping them off. Dropping the box. Aw, oh, shit, son. You must have see? a slight more, though, huh? Hold the other one up. Oh, you, that one, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you can Jeez. see, I mean, a little more surface area. I mean, just the material in general is just totally different. Yeah, yeah. You can probably just tell on camera just by looking at it. Obviously, they're, these are used, but you get the idea. Do the other side, we should be good to go. Oh, yeah. Check on Cal and see what's going on. Since he had his hazards on and he was coming into the pit, so let's go make sure everything's all right with the car and see what's happening with him. No BN, buddy. Huh? No good news over here. What? Oh, no. What happened? Uh, I don't know. Uh, so last session, the first session, everything went well. Like, everything went well. Car, car ran great. A couple times I had a, I think it's light breakups on the main straight, you know, I'm flooring it. Um, 30 pounds of boost, stock ignition system. I'm starting to believe that maybe I killed some coil packs. I don't know. 
because yeah, it just started getting real fluffy on me. I didn't want to accelerate. It was just kind of chopping up. And um, yeah, I just obviously came back in. I dumped the clutch in and it stalled. Oh. And it does not want to start back up now. So I have a fuel pump, that's still good, but I'm thinking it's it's gotta be spark related at this point. Damn. And that's not good. No. So I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in, I'm gonna see if anything pops up. I don't know if if that would even show me a code on the Haltech, but I made a half a lap on the second session and uh, I had to pull in. So that really sucks. If this ruins my day, that's really unfortunate. Um, but it is what it is, man. So we'll figure out the problem, hopefully, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, I guess good news, I guess we could say. Um, there is a problem. Um, I had a code on the Haltech pop-up for engine coolant temp sensor max. And I know the car didn't get hot, so the first thing I just wanted to check is just the coolant temp sensor because the way that the car is set up, the coolant temp sensor is quite important to how it runs, the mixtures, and everything. So, as we come over here, Ryan, if you want to show the people, yeah, we'll this was show. plugged in. This is the coolant temp sensor. This was plugged in, but if you'll notice, this one wire is no longer connected. So, I just had Ryan in the car as I was holding this wire on the sensor for where it's supposed to be, and it fired up. I took it away and it started to run rough again. So we just have to fix this cool temp sensor and it should be back on the track, man. That's exciting. Love that. I also just found one of my exhaust stud bolts is coming off. So we'll have to fix that too. All good though, I think. <laughs> All right, so what's the, what's the current status? Good news. We fixed it. Holy moly, me and Ryan been on a mission. Uh, it's a couple hours later, we uh, had to go through lunch, missed a couple sessions, which kind of unfortunate, but it could have been way worse. So luckily, it was a simple fix. Like I told you guys, that wire was broken. Went to Napa, they didn't really have what I needed. I was hoping to find just a pigtail for the connector, or the, for the sensor. They didn't have it. So they just gave me a couple crimps, a couple terminal crimps, and I was able to just kind of slide each individual wire onto uh, onto the sensor. So I don't know if you guys, it, it's by far not ideal, but it's gonna work, it'll get me through the day, and uh, we'll just fix it and get the right connector when we get back home. But uh, I'm just happy that it wasn't anything serious, Ryan. That's all I really care about. What were you saying? got big news everybody we're gonna finally we're actually we're actually gonna have some in-car footage which is uh, really exciting Ryan's actually hopping in uh, he was able to rent a helmet we're about to get out of the track that's what we just updated you guys cars good I'm hoping fingers crossed it's gonna be good on the track we'll find out real soon all right we got it I got what I needed got the helmet so I'm gonna be hopping in the whip with Calvin finally get some in-car footage which you guys are gonna see right now
so we don't get yelled at. Yeah, put that down, put we'll, that we'll come down. Back for that.
Looks like a dude that did his first track day. <laughs> what a day. What a day. Wow. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. Um, found some weak points. All in all, I think a pretty good day. Would you agree, Ryan? Oh, I think so. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Car you did. Killing it. Yeah, car for the most part did, did well. Um, obviously, that issue with the coolant temp sensor thing was kind of the main problem. And I, it just must be a poor connection because even the last session, I just had issues. You guys saw Jordan was filming. We just kept coming back in the pits. Wasn't great. Um, on the way home, drove great. I'm honest, let's be real. Drove three and a half hours to the track, did a hot lap track day, three and a half hours back. We can't be upset, Ryan. We can't no, be no, upset. She did great. She, um, she did awesome, actually. I'm really proud of it. So yeah, just a couple little things to button up. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I'm actually currently running the stock ignition system on the Jay-Z, which is like a batched fire coil, uh, coil system. So uh, I'm also pushing 30 pounds of boost on that system, which is kind of unheard of. It's not really recommended. So maybe that is kind of my issue. Maybe I'm just starting to lose coil packs because I didn't pop any codes on the way home. So that I thought that the issue was that coil was the temp sensor, but I don't, I don't, I don't believe that it was. So we're tired. It's been a long day. Um, yeah. I got some plans I want to do for the car, but uh, I guess we will uh, we'll talk about that later. For now, we're calling it a night. I'm gonna do a couple little things. We're gonna chill out. I'm gonna watch some F1 and uh, get back to it tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. You guys know the deal. Drove this thing straight through from Texas to New York, 1,700 miles, 24 hours straight. Made it here, no problem. Drove it three hours to a track day, beat it up. Couple issues, I guess I guess we did have an issue. I'm not gonna say there wasn't an issue, but there was an issue. But look, it drove, drove great, drove home, here we are. Like I said, it was my first ever track day driving the car like that in that sort of manner. Definitely could have gone a whole lot faster. I know in the footage, like I watched it back, dude, it looks like I'm barely moving. And it's so funny because like, when you're driving, you are hauling, like you are moving. But in the, in the videos, it just looks like we're barely creeping along, which, uh, you know, kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks. But uh, I'll, I can assure you guys that we were ripping. This thing was awesome. It was, on the main straight, I was like hitting fifth gear, which must have been like 130, 140 at least, minimum. Um, not a crazy long main straight. So, yeah, it was awesome though. Really good time. I'm, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to get back out there again. But guys, I think... I think, I think, instead of making the Z track focused, maybe, maybe we... A little change of pace, you know, change things up, went out, had some fun in the car, and enjoyed it a little bit. It was really fun to get out there in this thing, and uh, definitely looking forward to the next one.